Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Shonies and welcome to Simply Neat Web. So today's video, I decided to do a little sewing project. And for today, I decided to make this wonderful cardigan here into a skirt. So I'm excited to do that for you guys today in this video. Sit back, relax, and continue watching because you don't want to miss out on this one. And if you haven't already, go down below and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And also give this video a like sometime in the video. So other than that, let's get started with this video. So once again, here is the beautiful cardigan sweater that I had in my closet that I didn't wear as much as I really liked to when I got it. So I had it on to figure out where I really wanted how high the skirt to be, depending on how it is fitting on my body right now. So I decided where like these little arrows are at in the pattern of this sweater. That's where I want the skirt to be at, at the waist. So in the middle of that arrow, I decided to go up two inches from there and I then just made my marks and then cut right straight through it. Once I have cut that top part off and now it's just the bottom part, I was checking it out to see what it looks like and how it looks onto my body and so I needed to really make sure this fabric forms to my body more. So the best thing and I decided to make some darts in the front section and the back section. But first I did the darts in the back. So in the back I did like a three inches of a dart and then five inches down length as you pinch it together and make that diagonal line to make the dart. Um, that's what I did for both sides on the left side and the right side. <laughs> Once that was finished, I knew I had to make some darts in the front section, and so I did a two and a half to two inch dart with five inch length, same as the back, and I did that for the left and right section in the front. Mm -hmm. Once I put that back on and kind of pinned it on it in the mirror, and it looks really fitted to my body, I decided it looks great. So at the end of each dart, you always leave like a little string at the bottom. So I did about two or three double knots to finish off the dart and then clip all the threads. Once the dart was done, I decided to make my waistband. And I didn't think interfacing would really work on this fabric, so I didn't put any interfacing on this waistband part. So I just flipped it down uh, an inch and then flipped it down again to make a nice one inch waistband and then I just sewed right along that edge. Once the waistband was done, it was zipper time, but I wanted to be a little bit different with the skirt. So I chose to use a metal jacket zipper and it had the like, gold metal teeth of the, on the zipper and I thought it would look so good on this skirt. These zippers are a little bit easier to put on. I fold the edge of the skirt by like a half an inch or so, or two inch, and then pin that zipper onto that edge of the fabric Storms come and then sewed it up to close to the zipper teeth as possible you can't control once the zipper was on it was looking pretty fresh I was excited for this skirt as already had like this fringy bottom already and I thought it was look beautiful but I also thought it needed something else so I decided to make some pockets so I made some personalized pockets on a piece of paper I just have my length of my hand and I marked the each side of my hand and then did about an inch on each side and then make sure the piece of paper length a square that I was making that's long at least long as my hand but from here up make sure to make some room for seam allowance as well so I made my little paper template for that and then cut with the rest of the fabric from the top section I cut up two pockets of uh, squares then since this is a more yarny type of fabric so I sewed around the each edge of the pocket for each section <laughs> pinned them onto the skirt where I want them. Once they were both pinned on, I sewed around the square leaving the top section open so I could put my hands in. And I decided to sew around the stitching that I already did, so it'd be like a two decorative stitch look onto the pocket. 
Once that was done, I did some hand sewing, adding some hook and eyes at the top where the waistband was, and this skirt was done. So I made a, this cardigan sweater into this beautiful skirt, you guys. This skirt is really cool and it's really popping, and I really would really wear this even more now. So I'm really excited that I made this skirt and it looks so pretty. What do you think, you guys? Do you think this skirt looks good? From where I started from to this beautiful skirt now, I think it's like it's great and I'm glad I did this so you guys I hope I inspired you to do something like this with your own wardrobe like if you haven't worn something in a long time you can like still make it different and make it more appealing to you that you will wear even more if you haven't worn it in a long time I really hope you like this video give me a like down below if you did also subscribe to my YouTube channel I'm going to do more of these type of sewing videos so you better stay tuned and subscribe down below so you won't miss out but other than that thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you back next week with another cool video. Bye!